Hello and welcome to Witchy Wellness Radio. I'm your host, Lauren Cholantani, women's holistic health coach and fellow recovering perfectionist. This podcast was created to show you that your body is not in the way, it is actually leading your way. Hello, hello, welcome back. You guys are listening to episode 158, Scalar Energy Healing with Tom Palladino. While I was manifesting and living my dream life, I know that it includes mind, body, and soul health, which means ditching the toxic people, the toxic work environment, and the products that are wrecking havoc on you and your goals. One simple change I did years ago was to switch my cleaning and laundry skincare routine from some crap to something more powerful, potent, and pure. So if you are interested in learning more about that and how essential oils can help you ditch all the toxic crap, mind, body, and soul, and yes, it does help promote better feeling emotions and lessen that anxiety, join me and my team every Monday on Zoom at either 2 p.m. or 8 p.m. Easterns for our intro to essential oils class. A different teacher will be guiding you each week, and it's great for beginners or even a good refresh on the top 10 essential oils that you can use to revamp and cleanse your life. RSVP in the show notes in that link to save your spot, and make sure you say Lauren Talentani sent you. While spots are unlimited, make sure to book and reserve your spot today. And without further ado, please enjoy episode 158, Scalar Energy Healing with Tom Palladino. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Witchy Wellness Radio. This is a show you get to learn how your body and emotions are not in your way, but actually leading the way. And today we have the expert, Tom Palladino, all talking about scalar energy healing. He is a scalar energy healing researcher based in Florida. Scalar energy is the fundamental life force found everywhere in the world, space, and in the universe. It originates in the stars and the sun, Chi, prana, om, mana, life force, pyramid energy, or zero point energy are synonymous terms for scalar energy. He theorized that all energy in the universe initiates as scalar energy and that the sun of our solar system and the stars in the universe are the points of origin, the storehouses for scalar energy. He further theorized that scalar energy is an instructive energy as the entire universe is instructed by this divine essence. Subsequently, all spiritual, cognitive, emotional, and physical action in the universe is initiated and maintained by scalar energy instructions. Scalar energy provides the order in our universe. And I am excited to talk more about putting more order into this (laughs) disorder right now. Welcome to the show, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. And you hit the nail on the head. That That's very appropriate. It's, it's what you said is accurate and true. Yeah. And if, if that is accurate and true, this technology is about to change the world. Thank you. You're well, well, thank you. I'm excited to, to learn more and to dive into this. And I always start off the show the same way, asking, how did you find out about scalar energy mm-hmm. healing? How did you get into this? I know um, just looking at, you know, you're about you on your site, you really felt inspired inspired by tesla not the car company people the original nikola tesla um yeah how did that come into come into your your view in in my adolescence i was reading books on tesla the great inventor nikola tesla and if if your audience is familiar with them i'm sure many people are you realize he gave us the electrical age many inventions that we enjoy today were invented a hundred years ago by tesla nobody has matched his prowess, no one. And Tesla not only was the um, father of AC electricity, he's also the father of a new frontier, scalar energy, or what he called radiant energy. Now, why is that important? Because everything you could achieve with AC electricity is much more easily achieved with radiant energy or scalar energy. So Tesla, essentially he abandoned AC electricity as a research And he concentrated the latter days of his life on scalar energy, which is the perfect energy, which is the perfect intelligence, 
which is the free energy of the stars. If we ever tap into that free energy of the stars, we won't have an energy crisis because the stars will power the world. I've said this frequently, the power plant of the future are stars. They're not wind turbines. They're not, they're not geothermal vents. It's not oil or gas. The, the, the new matrix, the new paradigm is to power the world from the stars, which is scalar energy. And how did you just start researching it based on your love of Nikola Tesla? Is that yeah. how you kind of got into it? Yeah, the, the, my I was enthralled with what Tesla was doing. It, to this day, his his um, his experiments and his achievements are unmatched mm -hmm. because nobody understands scalar energy as did Tesla, and nobody developed scalar energy instruments as did Tesla. So until we catch up to Tesla and develop or redevelop those instruments, those scalar energy instruments, he, he's the head of the class. And then, yes, I, it's always been a blessing. I've always had God, the Holy Spirit has always guided me. So I have to give first and foremost uh, uh, credence to God's hand in this. Yeah. And I, I, I just love asking these questions. How did you get into this? Because at the end of the day, it is your higher self, God, the universe guiding you, that inspiration with spirit or with God. I just love hearing how everything comes comes together. So scalar energy is the life force that's in everything. How how have you created and how can we harness this energy for so many applications? You copy Tesla. That's what I've done. And that's what, what I have worked with a brilliant engineer. That, will, that is what we've done. We copied Tesla. So what Tesla achieved over 100 years ago, we're copying now. And there's another incredible inventor by the name of Hieronymus. So Tesla and Hieronymus were two scalar energy experts. There's very few scalar energy experts in the world. We have copied them. Now, to, to lay the groundwork, imagine if, Lauren, imagine if you're the first person in the world with a computer. And you want to tell everybody in the world how wonderful a computer is, but they don't have computer experience. So it's dependent upon you to inculcate how incredible a computer is. Well, we're, we're on a, a Zoom link right now by way of our computers. There's so many functions you can perform with a computer. But put yourself in, in my shoes. If you're the only one in the world with a scalar energy instrument, or the only one in the world with a scalar energy instrument that can perform these functions, how do I get the word out? How do I tell mankind that this is a real science? It does have benefits. It's, it's demonstrable. Uh, these, these processes, these uh, work functions are repeatable. Yes, this is a real science that, that obeys the laws of nature. Well, the way we get that out there is exactly what we're doing right now by this, by this interview. So there, there the I guess my question is how how do we harness this? I obviously right. we're copying the technology that Tesla has mastered hundred right. years ago. How can yep. we apply this into our own lives? We we always copy and we always control nature. Now, what do I mean? A, an electrical instrument in some way will control mandate a a current, a stream of electrons, if you will. Well, scalar energy is not a stream of electrons. So how do we copy nature? We copy nature by creating a miniature star. That's what I have. A scalar energy instrument is a, is a star instrument that captures star power. So I have a miniature, an inferior type of star, but it still is a star instrument that captures, that harnesses star energy. There's a lot of engineering and a lot of theory that went into this. It's a lifetime of engineering theory. You can't do this overnight. But the, the key component is now I control that other spectrum. If with an electrical instrument, you can control a flow, a current, we with the scalar energy instrument can control the omnipresence of God. I'm going to repeat that. A scalar energy instrument controls chi, mana, prana, or what some people call the, the presence of the Holy Spirit. We control this all-pervading energy from the stars. It's star energy. More appropriately, I think it's the omnipresence of God. And, and the little that I do know about Tesla and as comparatively to what you know about like AC and DC and, and scalar energy, 
you know, from my point of view, correct me if I'm wrong, scalar energy is, if you think of something being very co- coherent or organized, and then the typical AC kind of current is a little bit, I don't want to say dirty, but disorganized or out no. of order. Is that kind of the 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 very very plain layperson's explanation of the difference? I, I would say all electromagnetic energy is is inferior and leads to entropy. The scientific yeah. term meaning death or, or or the signal falls off. Okay. Now what what's so important? If if any system, if any model approaches entropy and eventually realizes entropy, that's the death of the signal. That's the death. That's the end of that paradigm. It's finite. As opposed to scalar energy that does not experience entropy. This energy is everywhere. It never weakens. It's constant. So we have perpetual life. We have perpetual energy with scalar energy. Now listen again to what I'm saying. Scalar energy is perpetual energy. It never dies. Coal, oil, gas, nuclear, all of that is of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's finite, and it eventually experiences entropy. So what's the point? All you have to do is tap into star power. It's clean energy. There's no carbon footprint. It's infinite in supply. It'll never run out, and you'll never go to war again for oil. Mm. And I think that's kind of the the reasoning maybe behind why we haven't had this worldwide today. Yeah. It's a game changer. Yeah, it's a game changer. Scalar energy is a technology that will end scarcity. If you look at any economic model, there's always scarcity. Mm -hmm. Gold is scarce, food is scarce, homes are scarce. If you have energy that's infinite in supply, scalar energy from the stars, then then there goes the energy industry, so to speak. You no longer have an energy industry. You have free energy, or it's relatively inexpensive to administer this energy. So this is why it's a threat to the energy industry right now. Free energy, that's what scalar energy is, free energy from the sun, from the stars, is a threat essentially to the military-industrial complex. And speaking of, bringing back to the question before this, that entropy, well, the opposite of entropy is centropy. So everything, you know, coming together, I think of coherence is the word I always tell yes. myself. And we talked a lot about energy and how this is a game changer for energy, but we are energetic beings. So how can we, everybody, be treated mm-hmm. by way of the photograph, no matter wherever you are in the world? How can that help your vitality, your centropy, your coherence, all of the things? Good point. This is coherence. It's infinite coherence. It's it's perfect order. What brings order out of chaos is scalar energy. If you shut off all the star power, all the star intelligence, the universe would fall apart. There'd be chaos in, in a second, so to speak. So what are we doing with the scalar energy instrument? Now, this is different because we're working with a different type of energy. I work with people's photograph. This is my photograph. People will email me their photograph, and I'll actually place their photograph inside an instrument, a scalar energy instrument. And then the scalar energy instrument, working on their signature, their their force field, will send a a, um, scalar energy download, a scalar energy signal, and balance their brain waves, balance their seven chakras. Now, what I've seen with many people over the course of time, this has improved their mental health, their outlook on life. Some people say that a scalar energy session has lifted their depression, uh, changed their outlook in life, allowed them to have a greater sense of self-confidence, given them a sense of ease and tranquility. Now, all by way of a scalar energy instrument working remotely with a person's photograph. So what does that call to mind? It's action at a distance. Your photograph, my photograph is my bilocated copy. I don't work with people. I work with their their energetic copy. And a photograph allows me to access your energy spectrum or your scalar energy signature. That is part of the new science of scalar energy. You cannot achieve that with electricity. 
That's a different paradigm. Electricity does not abide by those laws of nature. Scalar energy does. So there's a, there's a new physics textbook that we have to write. This is not electromagnetic theory. This is scalar theory. Quite different. It's, it's a new rule book. Now, would this fall into, into the realm of more quantum physics? Because, you know, yes. you, you did say onto, you did say um, omnipresent energy, right? And that's what my mind thinks, because everything that ever exists will or did is in the quantum. Yes, exactly. The quantum transcends time and space. So it's the omnipresence of the universe. It, it really, in my estimation, is the presence of God. What, what could be everywhere instantaneously? It, it has to be the omnipresence of God. So that's what we're working with. Now, keep in mind, electricity is a movement of electrons. And, and I'm not in any way trying to debase or, or deride anybody's efforts with electricity. No, it's a notable invention. But this is much more than a movement of electrons. This is the omnipresence of God. Now, what would you rather have working? What would you rather have? That powering your, your devices, a flow of electrons or the omnipresence of God. I, I opt for the omnipresence of God. It's the perfect energy. Scalar energy is the perfect intelligence. Now, these devices obviously help send energy to like your photographic copy. Yes. Do you think, I'm, I'm going to get a little bit out there. Do you think one day we can teach ourselves to be our own scalar energy instruments? Everybody who's listening to this podcast, everybody is a scalar energy expert. Yeah. Everybody has a scalar energy mind and a scalar energy heart. And I'm going to say this without equivocation, your mind and your heart far exceed my capability in my laboratory. That's one of my goals in life, to teach people to use their thoughts and their emotions appropriately. Your mind and your heart far exceed my scientific capability. Because your mind and your heart are created by God, by the creator, whereas my instrument is an engineering feat. So what am I getting at? Everybody's a scalar energy being, which is we're made in the image of God. And when we use our mind, our thoughts, and our emotions appropriately, we'll change the world. We are. Many people understand that concept, and many people think well and, and, and act accordingly and, and have those uh, uh, corresponding emotions. Yeah, I, it makes me think of, I mean, it's different because it's a different kind of energy, I guess, in a way, but the electromagnetic field of your heart can, can I think, I know it's like 10 times the size of your electromagnetic field of your brain, but depending on how open and aligned you are, I know it can be measured for quite some distance yes. outside. And that's just with the technology we have today exactly. that can measure that. Yeah, we're learning so much. Yeah. We, we, We've just, it's the tip of the iceberg of science. We just, we're just learning so much. And we see that it's just pregnant with opportunity. So I wanted to go back to the light healing just a little bit. For people, if they're listening to Witchy Wellness, they're probably kind of familiar with energy healing. Um, how does this actually work? You, you've talked about mental health, you know, physical health. How, I know that it kind of helps create more coherence but from like a more 3d perspective people think you know you're stuck in like well i just don't want to feel this way or i have this problem how how can this this help what are some examples that you can provide i, I believe this energy as perfect coherence aligns us with god unites us with god and, and i firmly believe that initially to, to go back to biblical uh, 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 thinking. Adam and Eve had the gift of scalar energy. They had perfection. We were created in perfection, but our fall from grace introduced electromagnetic energy. So go going back in time, I believe God wanted all of us to have this perfection, his image. But it's tarnished now because we have this substitute energy, electromagnetic energy. So what is my point? Everybody can, can focus, and everybody has the ability to think well, to pray, to, to use their emotions accordingly. We can go back to what some people call source or some people call the creator, and we can align ourselves with this perfect intelligence. 
uh, once the audience realized that how these two energies play off and the distinction between these two energies, people are finally going to say, you're right. Electromagnetic energy is an inferior way of living. We don't want an electromagnetic lifestyle. We want a scalar energy lifestyle. So to, to, to answer your question, to get to the point, scalar energy is perfection. Scalar energy is perfect intelligence. It's, it's, it's perfect spirituality. It's a perfect body. If, if we live in a perfect scalar energy environment, we would have perfect intelligence, perfect spirituality, a, a perfect uh, physical constitution. So I'm trying to introduce going back to that perfect paradigm. We all we still have that. We just don't have it in abundance. I want the world to have this in abundance. And I want the world to realize that everybody presently through their mind and their heart can have access to that abundance, that perfection. It's perf not only perfect energy, it's a perfect way of living. And I really have to accentuate that. This is not about an engineering feat. It's about a different lifestyle for mankind in which we're no longer encumbered by an electromagnetic paradigm. Now, consider what I'm doing. With one laboratory, scalar energy laboratory, I can work with people around the world. I can easily work with a million, two million people around the world by way of photographs. One laboratory. Well, what does that say? It's economies of scale. It's the perfection that we're looking for at, at pennies on the dollar. I want to save people money. I want things to be more efficient. Uh, gone are, are the smokestack. Gone are the steel mills. We don't need that expensive infrastructure anymore. Yeah, I think what you're explaining is my perspective of this. I think of the, the Rumi quote, we aren't just one drop in the ocean. We're the entire ocean in one drop. That yes. what this, we already are this energy, realizing and embodying it. What we are that we are gods in the flesh, and realizing that when we can align ourselves to that, I want to say higher vibration, but it is the the, the only vibration truly. Um, then all else out. All else that is less than can fall away, or you can let go of. And I, I, I it is a very, it's a spiritual feat. I think for me personally, I know the next shift in humanity needs to come from that perspective, and everything also follow like energy and you know abundance and all sorts of the world. And you just think about how this can help with, with, with feeding the planet as well. It, the the yes. possibility possibilities are literally yep. endless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You get it. You see, with, with our existing paradigm, there's scarcity. Okay. I, I don't have the money to, to give people medical attention around the world, but I can easily treat a million people a day with a scalar energy instrument by way of their photograph. So if I were to perform some type of medical uh, intervention on a million people a day, it would cost millions of dollars. I can take a million photographs and treat a million people a day by way of their photograph on pennies on the dollar. So we, we need a new way of thinking. You know, if, if you look at the world and you say, well, things aren't working, okay, what's the option? This is the alternative. This is the option. We need a different way of doing things, the option. And I love what you said earlier about helping people change how they use their minds and their hearts because in my experience, even if you have these magical healing moments, whether it's from a device, yourself, whatever, energy healing, you have to change who you are being, how you are doing things. Because you can, you can regress, not to scare people, but the vibration you were living at, let's just say with that disease or that scarcity, is completely different than the vibration of source. Yes. So if you go back to aligning because our brains are just running programs all the time to, oh, that addictive personality to, to worry and anxiety and depression in it, your environment, you'll start looking for it versus start changing the way you think to more like source, more abundance, you know, growth is everywhere. All that I have is always working out for me. Um, you, you mentioned that a little bit. Can we, can we dive a little more into the, the mindset? 
to all of this? As far as I'm concerned, everybody has the ability to be a saint and a genius. Everybody does. And and once we realize how easy this is and, and to simply avoid the nonsense and just focus, you know, focus on God, focus on family, do your best in life. Everybody is made in the image of God. Scalar energy is everywhere. This new technology will save the day in many, in many instances. The next 10 years, we, we could see a new paradigm, a new technological paradigm. So the future is ours. So Let's just be, let's be upbeat. Let's do the best we can. I've always said with 7.9 billion people in the world, 7.9 billion people in the world can solve our problems. If, if we work together in coherence and unity, 7.9 billion people in the world can solve the world's problems. And, and there's a tipping point. I know people think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. But I think it's like if 1% of the world shifts their vibration there uh what is the mass consciousness a tipping point i'm trying to think of the technical term it can up level you think of a um a being like jesus or buddha no matter what type of religious figure that high vibration that they embody no matter what your religious beliefs are uplifts the vibration of the entire planet so my quote i like to live by it's cheesy if you want to heal change the world change yourself heal the world yes. heal yourself first because when you yes. can do that that inspires people around you yes, 3d energetically but we Proper. really only need that one percent of the world to help shift yes. and yes up, up i want to say upgrade up level bravo. you know bravo exactly the one percent will have an effect on the two to three to four mm-hmm. percent. The four to five percent will have an effect on the ten to twenty to thirty percent. Once people see our happiness, once pe- people see our success, call mm-hmm. what you will, our our tranquility, our our ease, our comfort in life, people will say, "Well, I want that." Yeah. You know, and, and it's it then it's like they say the vernacular would have it. It's a no brainer. It's simple. It it simply unfolds. Yeah, you know, I'll have what she's having or I'll have, I'll have what she's drinking. And I, for me, I know that's why I started the show. And I know that's part of the reason, most of the reason why you, you do what you do today is once you feel that way, you want to help give back. You want to help inspire other people. Right. Right. And and we, the message is not unique. We're just our own unique messengers. Yes. So once you start the, it, it's that ripple effect because you want, you want to share your light. You want to share your passion, your inspiration. And that's yes. another side effect, ripple effect, if you will, of doing all this. Yes, it is. Imagine what I'm saying. We are saying one person can change the role on any given day. I could easily work with a million, two million people mm-hmm. right now in my laboratory. I'm working, an instrument is on, and I'm treating 200,000 people. I'm sending scalar energy to, to 200,000 people in my laboratory. Now, am I, is that the multiplier effect we're speaking about? Of course. One person, an operator, is downloading scalar energy, giving 200,000 people a scalar energy session by way of their photograph. We do a lot of work around the world pro bono. We receive thousands of photographs a day. So to, to put the, it's a numbers game. So to put all this in perspective, this works. I, I can testify to that. I do this every day. I, I treat hundreds of thousands of people around the world every day. Amazing. Um, I wanted to kind of go back to like how this works and why sc- scalar energy is to human enhancement as the photosynthesis is to plants because we you know, you, you, you got to build a model. You're like, Oh, this is great. This is great. But how can I relate to what this is in my own okay. head? But let me preface that my answer to that. My predecessor, Hieronymus was able to grow plants in the dark in his basement with a scalar energy instrument. He funneled sunlight, starlight into his basement and grew plants. So really, the prime mover in photosynthesis is not electromagnetic energy, it's scalar energy. Plants grow by way of scalar energy first and foremost. Electromagnetic energy is a secondary energy, but it 
But still, the prime, the, the prime agent, the, the motivating force of photosynthesis is scalar energy. Now, if you can grow plants in the dark with a scalar energy instrument, keep in mind that the sun and the stars are everywhere. They're constantly giving us that, that energy, scalar energy, and you cannot hide from sunlight or starlight. Scalar energy passes through a brick wall. So all of us are experiencing biological photosynthesis from the sun and the stars, meaning what? Scalar energy gives life, whether it's life of plants in a basement, in a darkened basement, or people um, throughout the world. Scalar energy, sunlight and starlight is the cosmic force. It's the life force. Without scalar energy, you would have no biological life. Thank you. I, I, I loved hearing that experiment. I didn't even know when I asked that question about that experiment. That's very cool. It makes me think of, um, I think his name was Dr. Emoto, a Japanese scientist, yes. taught to the water. And yeah, yeah. if you guys that, haven't heard of it, look it up. <laughs> let's, let's address that. Dr. Emoto was a Japanese scientist. He, he saw that thought patterns or prayer or emotions could have a, a beautiful effect on water crystals, on even ice. And he would show under magnification the difference between a positive thought, a holy thought upon a water molecule, beautiful geometry, as opposed to a negative thought, a vicious thought on a water molecule. And he could show he could show the distinction between a positive thought and a negative thought. Now, what does that mean? The thinking, the emotion, scalar energy imparts an intelligence upon a water molecule. And in so doing, the water molecule under that positive influence is beautiful, beautiful coherence, as opposed to the water molecule under the influence of a negative aspect, a negative emotion, it's distorted, it's ugly. Now, keep in mind, we're 70% water. People are 70% practicing water. And if you have positive thoughts, you're downloading that scalar energy into your soma and, and you will feel the difference. So as we've heard so many times, have positive thoughts, get rid of those negative thoughts, and deal with the world of reality, but try and be on the positive side, not the negative side. 100%. And, and just like if, if you if you pray or bless your food before you eat it, the same with the, the, the water. I do it every meal. I just It slows me down from a practical level to be present, to be yes. able to chew and delight with my food and the people around me but that that experiment always reminds me all right I better bless this food but because this is going to become part of me and not only do my thoughts throughout the day affect me but I can I, I can control the how much nutrition from a 3d perspective or the vibration or the coherence of what I'm actually eating which is pretty pretty powerful pretty cool Yes, you're right. It, 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 exactly. I always bless my food. You should. Mm-hmm. And, and you, know, you I think people should have positive thoughts throughout the day and pray throughout the day. Yeah. It sets up your day. Remember, th- these are instructions. And you, to be blunt, you can either be happy or you can be miserable. And it's up to you. So try and be happy and, and try and have those positive, uh, virtuous thoughts throughout the day. And, and for me, realizing like, the actual mechanics of our physical brain, the um, reticulator activating system in your brain or your RAS. So once you get a new car, let's say, you start seeing that car everywhere and you're like, whoa, I didn't realize all these people had the same car as me. Well, that's actually your RAS at work. So it's the physical component of how what you focus on grows or where your attention goes, energy flows. And same with positive thinking. (laughs) Exactly. What, what, you know, your thoughts d- dictate the outcome many times. Be positive. Yeah, exactly. If you're if you're if you're looking for an obstacle, you will find the obstacle. If you're looking for the outcome, you will find the outcome. There you go. There we go. Um, yeah. Well, on that note, I feel like that was kind of a mic drop moment for both of us. And was there <laughs> anything else, Tom, you wanted to wrap up before no. we start to close down the show? No. Again. To those listening to our conversation, everybody in the world is a scalar energy expert. 
use your mind, use your heart accordingly. Those instructions, your, your cerebral and your emotional instructions will dictate your lifestyle. Amen. I, I, I want to call attention. Go to our website. We offer anybody in the world 15 days of free session. You're going to email us your photograph. We work with you in the scalar dimension by way of your emailed photograph, scalarlight.com. That's one way we can educate people as to how simple this paradigm is. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And on that note, thank you for showing up for us today. Thank you for recreating and re, re I want to say promoting the, the, the reason and the powerful nature of this energy that is us. And we close every show the same way. How may we, the listeners, as an act of gratitude for you today, be of service? for you just just be yourself think well and, and feel accordingly that's how you can be a service not only to me yourself the world this is a team effort totally is thank you thank you thank you for being a part of our team i know i'm grateful for you thank you so much for sharing your light with us today on the show thank you and remember Open up, surrender, trust, and let your body lead the way.